it's too late to start a YouTube channel. Oh my god, there's way too much competition. You know what? I'm just not a video person. I'm terrible in front of the camera. All of those misconceptions and limiting beliefs are going to be smashed in today's video where we're talking about how to start a legit YouTube business with zero subscribers and with zero dollars in your pocket. I mean, because you're probably thinking, Marissa, is it really possible to start a YouTube channel from scratch in this day and age in 2019 when there's already millions of YouTubers and billions of users on YouTube? And my answer to that is hell yes it is. First of all, there is never too much competition out there. There is always an audience waiting to hear what it is you have to share, what expertise you have, what it is you have to teach. People want to hear your creativity and they want to hear your story. I'm making this video today because I do not want you guys to start off the way I did and to make these embarrassing videos. I'm like, oh my god, when I first started YouTube I had no clue what I was doing. But the most important thing is that I started. And let me flash back to this really ah, embarrassing video of me where I had, I was wearing a t-shirt that lighting was terrible, the camera was pixelated, the quality was awful, but you know what? Even though it was super embarrassing and I was not wearing any makeup, the fact of the matter is that I started and I started to gather data and to figure out what my audience liked and what they reacted to and all those types of things. So I would strongly suggest taking all of these tips into consideration when starting your YouTube channel and wanting to start a business on YouTube. And hi, by the way, my name is Marissa, and if you haven't already joined the family, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, because this channel is your one-stop shop for online marketing, entrepreneurship, and digital nomad travels and tips. Okay, so let's get into my first tip, and that is to start your channel correctly from the jump. Now, what do I mean by this? Now, you have to treat your channel like a business, because let's be real, the days where you see a random channel with random topics, and it grows organically, and has, you know, and it's monetized, and has subscribers, those days are over. 99% of us that start a channel are not super duper famous influencers. I mean, I'm talking about those influencers who are just famous for no reason. We all know who they're talking about, where they can post anything, they have a huge audience, and they just go viral for no reason. We can no longer have a channel that talks about makeup tutorials, cooking, mixed with reaction videos, mixed with fitness. You get the idea of where I'm going with this. One of the crucial steps to starting your channel off correctly is to pick a frequency and go with it. Are you gonna post videos on Monday and Friday? Are you going to post once a week, twice a week, three times a week, whatever you can handle and whatever it is, you have to be consistent. Think of YouTube as, for example, a job. I mean, if you're not consistent of showing up to work, you're going to get fired from that job. It's the same thing with YouTube and how the algorithm uh, respects and treats frequency. The next thing you have to determine is your niche. And I'm not talking about a huge niche like you know, fitness. Fitness is an industry. It's so big because there's so many micro categories within fitness. So when you're picking a channel, what is it that you're really good at? What is it that people ask you how to do very often? You know, what is it that people ask you for help on? So when we're talking about the fitness industry, how to like niche it down. Maybe you're a vegan athlete, let's say, and maybe your, your niche is teaching other athletes how to incorporate a vegan diet with a lot of protein. And what are some really good vegan recipes for vegan athletes, you know, that type of thing. So you see how it went from fitness all the way down to vegan athletes. All right guys, my second tip for starting off a brand new YouTube channel from scratch with zero dollars, zero subscribers, is to think about your monetization options ahead of time. Now don't freak out, I know that most of you guys may not know how to develop a course, may not have a consulting business and that type of thing, but you have to get in the mindset of what is it you're going to offer. And of course, my number one tip to monetize a channel before you can receive the, um, the Google ads and the monetization from the Google ads that play on your videos is to do affiliate marketing. So are there products or services that you use right now that have a, an, an affiliate program that you could recommend to people and receive commissions from that? And I know commissions may be small in the beginning, but it definitely adds up over time and it is probably the first and number one way to monetize your channel. To receive, you know, the, the Google ads and the number one way people think of, you know, making money with a YouTube channel, you need a, a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, which is a pretty scary milestone for beginning people. But if you stick to these things, you'll achieve that much faster than you think. But yes, down the line, think about the services you'll offer. Think about if you'll do a coaching program. Think about if you'll create courses that can bring in income more and more and that is scalable with the future of your YouTube business. 
All right, so the third tip I have for you guys is to be strategic about your content creation. And this is very important because I don't want you guys to get the burnout. It's kind of inevitable to get a burnout when you're a YouTuber and you may not know what I mean, but all YouTubers that are watching this video know exactly what I mean. You get to a point where you're like, oh my God, I gotta make a video and oh, I'm so tired and I don't know what to write about and I don't know what to film about and just I don't have any ideas in my head. And that why it is, it, I'm saying it's very important to be strategic so you pick, you know, three to four days out of the month or maybe even less when you get really good and you map out all your video titles, you map out what videos you're going to make and you even film like let's say five videos worth of content within one day or maybe if you can't handle that divide it up into two days and that is really really important because that means you're not being reactive in your YouTube business and you're planning out ahead of time so speaking about content creation let's talk about YouTube equipment because I know I get this question a lot I don't have any equipment let's take a look at what I use and how I started all right, so let's check out all the YouTube equipment. Now, I didn't always start out that way, and I'll get to that in a second, but one important thing that I added to my YouTube videos was this ring light right here. It makes all the difference with having a bright light on your face versus no light or natural light. Um, and this um, is the camera that I use. I know it's hard to see, but it's the Panasonic G85 camera. shoots in 4K. That is the only nice camera I have at the moment. Um, I also use my GoPro when I'm out and about doing action shots, going underwater at the beach, whatever. This is the Gorillapod I use to hold up my camera if I'm just walking around in a public place or something like that. And this tripod is when I don't need my ring light and I'm outdoor and I'm wanting to shoot something outside where I don't really need light so I just put the camera right here. And this is my uh, 1080p Logitech webcam. Now this was my step up, my gift to myself once I started to make money on YouTube. I upgraded to a Logitech webcam. It goes on the top of the laptop. And this is really cool if you're doing tutorials and teaching people things on screen. But ultimately guys, don't worry about any of this equipment because when I started, I literally just had my iPhone, this microphone that connects to the iPhone, which goes right here on your shirt, and just, <laughs> It's embarrassing, but just my webcam on my camera, which is not good quality at all. But the point is, there's no excuse not to get started. And if you already have a smartphone and a laptop, just buy this microphone on Amazon. I think it's 22 bucks and you're good to go. You're ready to start producing your content. All right, guys, so moving right along to tip number four, where I'm actually right behind my computer and I'm gonna show you a couple things. Um, I wanted to say that tip number four is to be intentional with your keywords. Now we're going to be talking about three um, keyword research tools, and the first one is called Keywords Everywhere, the second one is called VidIQ, and the third one is called TubeBuddy. Now, I won't really talk about TubeBuddy in this video, but maybe I will in a future video, but let's talk about why you need Keywords Everywhere. It is a free Chrome extension, and also there is a free version of VidIQ, and I'll talk about why these two tools are very important. All right, so we're on my channel right now, and as you can see, I have the free Chrome extension of Keywords Everywhere up here and also vidIQ. Now, what I wanted to bring your attention to was Keywords Everywhere and why it works beautifully when you're starting out. So if I'm in the weight loss niche or something like that and I want to figure out what kind of videos I want to produce, I want to type in how to lose weight and all of these keywords pop up, the 10 most searched keywords relating to how to lose weight. So I want to produce videos on these 10 different types of keywords. That is the videos I would target to produce my first maybe 10 videos on my YouTube channel or something like that. So if we type in how to lose weight in four easy steps, you see this third one right here, a whole nother batch of 10 keywords pop up. So you get how this works, like how to lose weight for moms after you've had a baby or something like that. You can just keep getting more and more niche specific depending on what you want to do. Now, the next tool that you need with Video IQ, I'll show you why you need it. I'm on my channel and I wanted to give you an example. Let's look at uh, this video that's four videos old on my channel. What Video IQ does is it gives you all of these analytics right here. But especially why I like it and why I need it for when I'm posting my videos is because it gives you a nice checklist that you can use for every video that you post. So for example, you need a good title, you need your tags, you need a good description, cards, end screens, etc. So you can make sure for every video that you have, you have all of these components of your checklist, you know, checked off and you're ready and you can post your video with confidence knowing that you've done these things. And as you can see, if you haven't done it, it'll show you in red, a red X that you need to complete this step. 
The other thing I love about Video IQ is that it shows you the weight of the tags that you're using when you're tagging your video. So you can see Marissa Romero review is, you know, pull some weight, but the number one thing that is giving this video traffic is lifetime affiliate commission. So it's ranking and showing you the, the tags and the keywords that are more effective so that you could know what to use in the future for your future videos on this topic. So I wanted to show you guys a really cool channel that I found the other day and this channel is called Cast and Brand and it's about a couple who is teaching people, you know, basically lessons learned about starting a bakery business or a restaurant business. So their target audience are people in the restaurant niche and helping people start up a business, whether it's a bakery or some type of local restaurant. And this is pretty cool and you can see how, like for example, they come up with the keyword research that makes sense and stuff that people um, are looking for. So if you look at, like, these two videos for example how to open a restaurant with no money three ways to finance your small business so if you type in the keyword how to open a restaurant with no money that keyword is getting searched 590 times per month which in my mind if you are a small channel that is a perfect view amount per month because you don't want to target keywords that have like a million searches per month you want to be you want to search topics that are realistic and that are that you can place and be findable in the first page of this keyword all right, so the fifth and final tip I have for you guys with starting a legit YouTube business from zero subscribers and zero money is to ride that algorithm wave. Now, what do I mean by that? So in the beginning, you're going to have statistics of the data and the videos that you post. Even though, let's say you've only posted 10 or 20 videos, regardless, there's going to be data. There's going to be data on the views, the click-through rate, the engagement, all that stuff. So you want to check out a video that is performing quite well or that is performing better than your other videos and you want to create more content around that same topic so let's say you have a YouTube channel on social media tips and you've posted a video about Pinterest marketing and that video girls goes you know semi viral for your channel and it has maybe you know 6,000 views and you're like oh wow this video is taking off post more videos about Pinterest marketing because that is what your audience likes and that is what is bringing you more traffic so you want to ride that algorithm wave and there's so many more analytics to evaluate within your YouTube analytics which could be found um, in the new version of your YouTube studio beta I believe it's called um, such as click-through rate view velocity retention watch time and all of these different types of analytics so if you guys want to learn more about YouTube growth and YouTube analytics specifically comment below or or if you guys want to learn more about how I script my videos or create my content and really the whole world of YouTube business and how I'm growing my channel, comment below what you'd like to see in your questions of future YouTube videos that I create and I'll be sure to make a video specifically on that. But for now, this concludes this video. I hope you guys got value from it and I hope you guys continue to take massive action with your YouTube channels and if you haven't, please just start. That's what it's all about. These tips mean nothing if you don't start and if you don't get you know out of your head that you can't do it and these limiting beliefs, just do it. I'm Marissa Romero. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are. Stay positive. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.